Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jamie and I'm a student at Binghamton University. I have gotten so much good feedback from my last Binghamton video where I talked all about Binghamton. I'll link that down below. But I've gotten so many questions about housing on campus, so I decided to do another video to kind of talk about the different housing options. This video is really fun because I've enlisted the help of my friends, so I have videos from my friends talking about every community on campus. So we talk about Newing, Dickinson, and then with Dickinson we talk about the health and wellness community, which is a freshman only building, CIW, Mountain View, and Hinman. I don't talk about the apartment complexes, but if you have questions about those, let me know because I have friends that can answer them for you. I'm going to start by talking a little bit about how the housing process works. I haven't lived on campus in a little bit because I moved off campus as a sophomore, but when I was a freshman and I was applying to live on campus at Binghamton, the way it worked was that I met up with a roommate, so I found a roommate in one of the Facebook groups slash the group me, and we started talking and decided we'd be roommates. So then we went on this housing portal that Binghamton sent us all the information for and we filled out that we were going to be roommates and we like accepted each other. So then the way it worked was that we each got a time slot. It was based on like when you signed the housing contract and you were able to go in and select your exact room that you wanted to live in. So this meant that if you wanted to live in a double in newing, you would go on click newing and then find any available double and place yourself there. It also means that if you want to live in a suite, you can't connect with your suite mates through the housing portal, but you guys can each place yourself in the same room. However, that is like a first come first serve basis, so it's not guaranteed that it's gonna work out, but you guys have a good chance at trying to work that out and you guys can also pick with, that you wanna live near each other and things like that, which is really exciting. Now I'm gonna talk a little bit about where I lived my freshman year. So I lived in Newing and I'm a big, big fan of Newing. Newing is corridor style, which means it's like your kind of classic college drum room that you would hear about. However, since that it's corridor style, so we live in doubles, we don't have communal bathrooms. It's every three rooms shares two bathrooms. So one bathroom would have a toilet and a sink, and then the other one has a shower and a sink. So I said in my last video, you always have a sink, and my friend thought that was really funny, but you do always have a sink. Newing is home to the scholars community, which means that a lot of scholars are going to live in Newing. Um, I lived in Broom, and a lot of scholars were on my floor, third floor Broom, shout out. Um, good time. So if you are in the scholars program, you're going to be living here. I believe all scholars are required to live in Newing, their freshman year at least. And Newing is also home to a lot of Greek life residents, so it's not like if you're in Greek life you live in Newing, but a lot of Greek life students do tend to wind up in Newing. I know like when I lived on campus it was the fourth and fifth floor of Broom were big Greek life halls. When I was a freshman, Newing was really social for me at least. The first few weeks a lot of us left our doors open, so you kind of got to know everyone and it was just like a really great opportunity to meet new people. A lot of the people on my floor were freshmen, so I did get to meet friends that way. And to this day, some of my best friends like my, were my roommate and then some of the girls from down the hall, like I'm so close with a lot of people. And I'm so fortunate that I had that opportunity of a social floor. Besides Newing being social and a great community to live in, it is also home to Newing College Council, which I feel like is kind of the smaller of the college councils, so it's not like super popular to join. However, it does give you a lot of leadership opportunities. So right off the bat, my freshman year, I was elected to be the president of my building, which was really exciting and I ran unopposed, which is probably why I was elected because I don't think I was actually truly capable of that position, but I was elected. So it did give me this opportunity to meet an e-board of girls. My e-board was entirely girls, so we were we were able to like bond and connect about things like that as well as I got to go to college council meetings every Tuesday night they were and I just got to hear a lot about what was going on in my community so I felt really connected to the community and even if you like don't get elected to a position you still have the opportunity to go to these meetings and find out what's going on. New England College Council puts on like an autumn fall festival during parents weekend every year so there were like inflatables and bouncies and things like that which was so much fun and we also have Newing Navy, which is like our version of Color War and it's by building. And it happened to be on one of the best weekends. It was so nice out. And then they brought bounties and inflatables in too. So there was like bubble soccer and so many fun things like that. So like 
it was just so great newing is home to a giant field so like the newing buildings are situated so there's one here one here one here and then one back there but in between the three ones like this there's a giant field which is the Kowak football field and it's so much fun there's Kowak football there every weekend so if you're interested in football you can play football there's also a volleyball court with newing there's also a basketball court i'm a big fan of newing i think newing dorms are so nice and i think the amenities are great like there's so much around you and newing is also home to a lot of jewish students because right behind newing there's a bridge that takes you down to chabad so if you are jewish and like you think you're going to end up at chabad a lot I recommend newing for that i loved my experience there so much that i feel like i can't just wrap it up but if you have any questions you can let me know hi i'm becca i'm julia and we both lived in mountain view at binghamton university so something i really enjoyed about mountain view was you live in the sweet style of dorming so i know everyone says that they hate having to walk up the giant hill i know it's something i didn't mind very much especially once you get used to it um something i really enjoyed is obviously the view but that it was a straight downhill shoot to lecture hall when it was time that you were running late to class um, but overall so the sweet style means that there are three rooms and one living room within the dorm building so you're going to have four buildings in mountain view they're all named after like the four main peaks in new york state mm -hmm. so you have marcy Wyndham, cascade and hunter um we both lived in marcy we've mm -hmm. also lived and i lived in hunter for the beginning of my freshman year and i lived in cascade my freshman year so people argue which building is the best but they all have the <laughs> same layout uh so on each floor you're gonna have a study lounge and then there are probably about 10 or so suites on every single floor so when you walk into a suite you're gonna be walking into the living room area you have like some shelving some storage underneath the living room has a couch a couple armchairs a coffee table which is really nice when you want to have friends over or when you just want to kind of study in a place that's not your dorm but still feels like your room um, and then the thing I definitely enjoyed most about Mountain View is the fact that there were two bed two bathrooms to six people within your suite um, so you have three bedrooms and usually you just kind of split them up at least like that's how we did it in my room of who was using what bathroom so you'd have three people to a bathroom which when you consider uh, on campus dorming is not bad at all also at Binghamton they come and clean your bathrooms weekly so that was really helpful you never had to argue about you know who was cleaning what um, and it was really easy to share the space and even leave all your bathroom items in the bathroom because you were sharing it with everyone who you knew um, also it allowed you to be really close with your suite mates uh, fresh freshman year when we are both seniors now we're graduating uh they didn't let you choose who you were living with but you know once you get into your sophomore and junior year if you stay on campus they do let you choose who you're living with and you got to have like a suite of girls who you really enjoyed hanging out with uh so that's something i really liked because even though you had your own room which was honestly the dorming in mountain view the rooms themselves even though you shared it with another person they're really large you have your typical desk and closet um you always usually have a really great view of either the mountain view quad or like all of the university which is really nice um it was always really nice accommodations when it came to space which is something i liked most about mountain view and definitely made it worth the walk and something else is that even though mountain view doesn't necessarily have as much like community as some of the other communities do just because you're in your own individual suite it's almost like an apartment which is nice but can be a little bit isolating at times if you don't become really close friends with your suite mates um that is some people's experience but i can definitely say it was not my experience uh all my friends right now live in apartments together and we're still here in binghamton uh and we all met in living in marcy we all met very early on i met julia we all there's probably like 12 of us that we all got to live together at various points and still live together now um so that wasn't my experience i was still able to make a lot of friends uh, i was still able to participate in a lot of community events julie and i were both actually on the mountain view e-board i was the pr chair she was the event planning chair um, and it was like great experience i loved getting to wake up and go to app every single day as well it's like the best dining hall in my opinion um, it was at least when we were there like the least crowded best food best workers and it was always so nice getting to go to like before class and like looking out and seeing the whole university seeing the fall leaves change if it was a winter snowstorm which happens a lot in binghamton you just got to see like beautiful trees um so those are just like some of the main parts of mountain view and definitely my favorite parts about living there i know julia has her own experience as far as like favorite things 
Yeah, so some of my favorite things were the community events that happened in Mountain View. So like Becca said, the both of us were on the e-board for Mountain View College Council. And with that, we were um, able to help plan things like Salamander Days, which is done every year. So we got to have a bunch of bouncy houses. We have a DJ going. Um, we have like hype glow nights uh, where people all go out on the quad. Um, we have tons of fire um, pits and like marshmallows making s'mores, things like that. We also have our annual um, Hinman Mountain View semi-formal, which is really, really fun. It's basically we rent out app and we have a huge like dance party. It's really awesome. Um, so a lot of events like that were, were really fun. Community builders and just being able to do things with your friends was, was so fun and just having that large open space. We also have volleyball courts um, and basketball courts around. So that's also super fun. There's always people like skateboarding, playing stuff outside, especially when the weather is nice. You always take advantage of a nice day in Binghamton. So that was definitely some of my some of my favorite things. And just the overall setup of the suites was definitely nice. I loved having our own um, living living area and living room. It's, it's a lot nicer than personally for me, the corridors. Um, but it just allows you to really get that much closer with the people that you're living with because you're really living in just like your own little house, like your own little world with those people. So it's really nice. Yeah, I agree with all that. I definitely think the biggest thing I can emphasize with Mountain View is space. Uh, you're in this gorgeous, beautiful part where the nature preserve is basically in your backyard if you want to go for a walk. The quad is nice and big for when the weather is nice. Lots of people will be, you know, having fun activities, playing basketball, like Julia said. Um, and when it comes down to the dorm space, it's the largest, in my opinion, on campus, as well as the suites where you can't really beat having that common room all to yourself. And there's just so much privacy. You know, you can definitely get to know your RA if you want to. Um, they'll check up on you, but you honestly have so much space to yourself for if you want to have friends over, if you want to study, if you want to have a study group over, um, just kind of unparalleled to what you get in other communities on campus uh, and I met all of my best friends there I met my boyfriend of four years there I met all of my friends right in Mount of you from the start so you can totally make friends I know the sweet style can seem intimidating for if you aren't friends with your roommates um, but it's very easy to meet people best dining hall best food best rooms uh, I think we definitely will say we love Mountain View forever hello Jamie's vlog <laughs> So I was asked to talk about the CIW Res Hall. Um, it was like good. <laughs> um, my freshman year, I lived in Seneca, but I really liked my freshman year living experience because everything was really social. Um, I made a lot of good friends on the floor. And I think as a freshman, it was a really good experience. Um, my sophomore year, I also lived in CIW. I lived in Cayuga and we got really lucky with our suite. We got the princess suite. Um, we were the only people on our floor um, because we shared the floor with the RD and then there was a study room next to us So it was prime location because I didn't have to walk up any stairs to get anywhere The laundry machines were right down the hall. The study room was right there um, And it also was huge. We had so much square footage and whenever I had friends come over um, They were always envious of like tall ceilings and like so much space like in other CIW dorms like you're not allowed to put um, any storage on top of your uh, cabinets because it will go past like the limit but our ceilings were so so tall that it didn't even matter um and like it was our bathroom also was like huge we had two sinks um but we had a lot of problems with the shower over winter break they fixed that but the way they fixed it the drain was no longer level with the floor so it was pooling all over the the, ki the kitchen. It was pooling all over the bathroom floor and making everything really sop sopping wet and disgusting. So we had to have another work order called in for that, except they didn't actually fix the drain. They just built a little uh, barricade to prevent the water from getting into the rest of the bathroom. But it didn't dry all the way before they said we could use it. So um, we start using it and it starts leaking. So now we have caulk over the floor as well as the water still leaking out. So they had to fix it for a third time. And then as soon as they fixed that, the light fixture broke, <laughs> but they fixed that and it was fine. Um, so we had a lot of problems with the bathroom, but otherwise it was a really good living experience. Um, I didn't really participate in any of the activities CIW put on. My freshman year I did Woods Jam, which was fun, but they didn't do that. Uh, this past year, Woods Jam, in case like you need explanation, it's just like a little singing performance, like it's a little open mic style. Um, 
so I stayed with a few of my friends who were also members of the CIW community, so it was nice involvement that way. I think CIW is a good place to live for, like, freshmen. Um, it's, like, nice right in, like, the center of everything. Like, getting to the union is only five minutes, so you can get your Dunkin' fix whenever you want. <laughs> um, and then it's also, like, a nice, like, quiet community, but also have a lot of fun and engaging things happening. Hi! I'm Olivia. I'm currently a sophomore at Binghamton University and I now live elsewhere on campus, but my freshman year I did live in the health and wellness community, so Hawk for short. The Hawk building's really cool and I'm gonna talk about it. I have some notes on my phone and yeah, so dorm-wise, um, I personally was in a triple, so it was, I lived with two other girls, so it was me and two roommates, but most of the dorms rooms in Hawk Building are doubles, so you and one other roommate. Um, the hallways were co-ed, so both guys and girls lived on the same hallway. They're all corridor styles, so where you like walk in from the hallway and it's your dorm room. There are no suites, no flats um, within the Hawk Building. And um, the Hawk Building from the outside, it's part of old Dickinson, so um, the Dickinson that existed before they redid the dorm rooms. The outside definitely is not the prettiest, however, the interior I believe was redone within the past 10 years, so it is a lot better on the inside than it looks on the outside, so don't let the outside fool you. The facilities are cool and it's not like some old weird building. Um, there are four communal bathrooms within each hallway, so that means 25 to 30 people are living on your hallway and you all share four bathrooms. Each bathroom has um, a sink and a shower, which is really nice. Um, and I could see where like you think four bathrooms like isn't enough for 30 people, but I have to be honest, I think out of the whole year that I lived in that building, maybe I waited for a bathroom like three or four times. Really, it's not an issue. Um, everyone in college is on such different schedules that, I don't know, I never like had a problem with like I had to wait um, for a bathroom. And something else is that 25 to 30 people is a lot to share bathrooms with and my personal experience, the people on my floor were very considerate and the bathrooms were normally pretty clean. Um, every once in a while someone would leave something in there like a shampoo bottle and you just text in the hall group chat and you say listen someone left a shampoo bottle come and get it but really they were never like gross or disgusting even though there were like 30 people sharing it um, and that was on my floor that was my experience I do have friends who lived in the building um, who weren't as lucky and sometimes their bathrooms got a little gross but you roll with the punches and also because it is communal bathrooms like that um, the custodial staff are super great and they um, they clean the bathrooms often so that's good too. So the Hawk Building is part of Dickinson community on campus so there's the four like newer Dickinson buildings and then there's Hawk um, so we participate, the Hawk Building participates in Dickinson Mania, which is Dickinson's com Dickinson community's color war, basically, like against the building, so that's really fun. And also, if you lived in the Hawk Building, which again stands for Health and Wellness Community, um, they offer free fitness classes every single week. So I personally really enjoyed going to Zumba all the time. And at Binghamton, you can purchase a gym membership, I believe it's per semester. But if you lived in the Hawk Building, um, the classes were free and they had a whole yoga, yoga studio in the basement and that was really cool. Um, and you could also bring guests if you live in the building. They had like Zumba, they had yoga, bar classes, um, a wide variety which was really fun. Um, so that's a, definitely a big perk is you don't have to pay for those classes if you live in the building. Um, Another really cool thing about the Hawk Building, it is, it is the only all-freshman living community on campus. So, whereas if you lived in any other res hall, you could have any age student, any, um, you know, like, freshman through senior um, living on your floor, but the Hawk Building is freshman only, so every, you know, when you first start college and you either don't know anyone or you only know a few people, 
the Hawk building was really cool in that everyone was a freshman, so everyone was looking to make friends and looking to make connections um, within their first year of college. And because everyone was a freshman and everyone was in that similar boat, um, the community feel was really awesome. Um, within the first few weeks, everyone left their doors open, so people stopped in and said, hey. And even now, a year later, when I do see my friends who lived in my hall on campus, um, we do wave. It's nice to have that community feel. And I think that that is something that you could only get if you lived in Hawk because everyone was a freshman, so everyone, you know, was looking for that same first year experience. Um, another really cool perk I like to mention about Hawk is its location on campus. So Binghamton's campus is set up where all the classrooms and the main buildings, main campus, are located um, in the center and the living communities are on the perimeter. Um, the Hawk building is actually the only um, living community which is inside the circle instead of on the perimeter. It is literally a minute and a half walk to the campus's union which is really cool um, and that's especially nice when it's like rainy and snowy like it always is in Binghamton. Um, so I really like that too is it's super super central. You're never like commuting really far and yeah. So. Hi! My name is Rachel Weinfeld and I'm a junior majoring in psychology and I'm minoring in health and wellness and education. Today I'm going to talk to you about why the Dickinson community is the best community on campus. For the past two years I have lived in Digman and it's honestly been the best experience so far. Not only have I been able to make connections within the dorms, but I've also been able to make lifelong friendships through my involvement with Dickinson Town Council. My sophomore year was my first year that I lived in Dickinson. I had selected a double indignment, which meant that I was placed in a suite with two doubles and a single. This is what a double room in Dickinson may look like when you first enter the room. As you can see, there is a lot of room and it's very spacious. I had selected my room randomly, which meant that I didn't know my roommate or suite mate beforehand. I was very lucky that we got along well, and I personally loved having a roommate because I was able to bond with her and it made my transition to college easier. Throughout the year, we were able to rearrange the furniture, which was so much fun, and it allowed us to figure out which setup would give us the most space. The rooms in Dickinson all have ceiling lights and a window. They also come with four drawers for every individual in the room, and you each have a closet that has a mirror inside. Since it was a suite, the common area consists of a hallway and they each have a sink. In Dickinson, this area is known as the vestibule. Lastly, the suites in Dickinson all have two bathrooms, one on each end of the vestibule. Having a bathroom inside your suite is not only convenient, but it is also great because you only share it with a few people inside your suite and it gets cleaned once a week by maintenance. My junior year, which was this past year, was my second time living in the Dickinson community. Since I had already experienced having a roommate for my freshman and sophomore years, I really wanted to experience what it would be like to have my own room in a suite of four singles. This is what a single room looks like. Even though it's smaller than a double, I think it's the perfect size for an individual. As much as I loved having a roommate, having my own room was really nice because I felt more independent and I customized it the way I wanted. Here is my suite mate's room, and as you can see, we both use the space differently. A closet also came with this suite, which was really nice as it gave us extra room for storage. While many people think that having a single can lead to feeling isolated, Dickinson is known for being social, and I met some of my best friends in this suite and on my floor. Last year, a new open door policy was implemented, and my RA created a competition throughout the year to increase connections and friendships on the floor. Through this, I was able to make lifelong friendships and I never felt homesick. With the friends I made on the floor, we had movie nights, study sessions, and had many celebrations together. Another way that I was able to connect with people in my community was through my involvement with Dickinson Town Council. Dickinson Town Council is our hall government, and if you are involved, you host the events which are open to anyone in the community to go to. There are events that take place in Hawk, which is the freshman-only dorm in Dickinson. There are events in O'Connor, in Rayfuse, in Johnson, and in Digman, which is a building that I lived in. Anyone can go to any of the events um, in any of the buildings, and this is really great because it opens you up to not only being connected to the people within your specific building, but with the community as a whole. As soon as I came to Dickinson, I got involved in DTC. This past year, I was elected to be the Vice President of Multicultural Affairs for DTC's Executive eBoard.
As VPMA, my job was to promote diversity and inclusion within the community, which I did through my two events. DTC has so many other wonderful events that bring the community together. Mania is our week-long dorm wars event, and we have so many residents that participate in CoREC. Our learning communities, such as CORE and ELC, also hold events through DTC, and DCP is our Dickens Theatre Club. I've loved DTC so much that I'm going to be next year's Vice President of Public Relations. As you can see, Dickinson has a wide range of activities that bring the community together and it wouldn't be the same without DTC. If you have the opportunity to live in Dickinson, I'd say definitely go for it. Dickinson Town Council has definitely shaped my college experience and the Dickinson community has made me so happy. I'm so thankful for all the lifelong memories that I have and I wouldn't be the same person without living in the Dickinson community. Hi guys, so um, my name is Lexi and I lived in Hinman last year, well this year until we got sent home, in the building Hughes. For me, Hinman was a really good experience. Besides being far away from everything else on campus, it's really close to the lecture halls and you can wake up right before class to go. For me, some days I got up at like 8.25 and got to the lecture hall by 8.30, it's that easy. The dorms themselves, they are suite style. So most of the rooms in Hinman have six people in them. There's three different rooms, a common room and a single bathroom with one toilet and one shower. However, the toilet has um, a stall type thing. So people can still go to the bathroom while you're showering and like vice versa. So that's kind of good. The rooms themselves are kind of small and kind of shoebox sized but they work and they feel really homey if you decorate them right. The common room, you think it's really small before you like set it up, but if you do it a certain way and how you like it, it actually feels really, really homey. Hinman is one of those places that has a really community type vibe. Everyone there that I met was super friendly and super kind and you can get involved in a lot. Something I did was get involved with Hinman College Council. I was one of the co-services for my building in Hughes, so we set up service events for the entire community and for our building. And if you want to get involved, it's really easy to just run and maybe you'll get elected. There's also weekly meetings to go to for both your hall and for um, the whole student government itself. Hinman has a lot of events that make it special, like hysteria, dorm roars, and there's just so much more that Hinman has to offer that most communities don't. Yes, it might be kind of small and not the most updated, but it provides a really nice home for a lot of people and I certainly wouldn't have traded my freshman year home for the world.